In the past couple of months, I've been able to grow this website to over 50,000 organic traffic per month. But most importantly, I've been able to increase the AI visibility and I've been able to rank in over 119 pages or search queries on ChatGPT. I've been able to win 54 AI overviews, ranking in 36 places in Perplexity, 100 places in Gemini, and 20 places in Copilot. So in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can rank in ChatGPT and other AI search engines. Let's go ahead and get started. It's no doubt that search is changing and more and more people are searching on ChatGPT, Perplexity, and even just going to the Google AI overviews rather than clicking into websites. So how can you capitalize on this traffic? So the first thing that you need to do is figure out where you currently stand in terms of AI search and AI visibility. So what I like to do is I like to go on ChatGPT and this is where I'm gonna start my search. And I'm going to tell it, and just ask it a simple query, which is what is my business brand or the website in which I'm trying to rank for. So I'm going to ask questions that's going to prompt the AI to give me more information about my business or my website. And again, this is going to give me some insights. So I've asked it, what is my business? And then I'm going to click on sources. And if we click on sources, we can see exactly where the information is coming from. Of course, your website is going to be the main source of information. Um, so we can see the websites are number one. But if we scroll down, this is where the nuggets are. This is where um, the information is. So we see here that what clinic, let's see if I can open this in a new tab, what clinic, which is a business directory website, is also ranking number three. And that's where it's pulling a lot of its information from. So this gives us a good idea that maybe we can go on this website, go check it out, see what our listing looks like. And we can go ahead and add more information onto this listing. So the AI has more information about our business. So we can and make sure the information is correct. It's accurate. And make sure that that information um, is relevant. So that's what clinic that gives us some information again as to where we need to improve our content. Or let's say, for example, your website isn't even showing up on ChatGPT and you do a search for a high ranking competitor and you can see exactly where ChatGPT is referencing that, that information from. So then if you don't have a listing on what clinic, you can go ahead and create a listing. So that's another strategy in which you can employ. Then we see ways. Again, we see um, our website and then we see Instagram, right? So we see Instagram is where it's pulling a lot of its information from and some other websites as well. So this is a slew of very, very important information because it tells us that we need to one, put our information in more directories because that's where uh, ChatGPT is grabbing its information from. And two, we need to also post on Instagram and we need to post on other places because that's where ChatGPT is going to be gathering our information from. So number one is searching up where you currently are. Number two is finding the places in which ChatGPT is referencing your information and updating your information, adding more content so it has more information to pull from. And this ties into tip number three, which is you can't just only post content on Google or you can't just only post content on your website. You need to post content in multiple places. So think of syndication, which means you're gonna be posting on Instagram. You wanna post on LinkedIn. You wanna play to, uh, post on Twitter or X. You wanna post on Pinterest. You wanna post your information in as many places as possible because it gives the AI more information to pull from. Before we were optimizing just for Google, now you have to think that we're optimizing for ChatGPT, we're optimizing for perplexity. So we need to have our brand and we need to have our business information in multiple different places. So that's why business directories um, listing or submissions are much more important now. So you need to continue doing traditional SEO stuff, but just do it at a higher scale. You need to continue to syndicate your content on different places because it gives the AI more chances or more places where it can find information from. Tip number four is related sort of to tip number one, which is doing more research on search engines or AI search engines like ChatGPT. So for example, I can say is what is the best place to remove a mole in Toronto? Because I know that is one of our clients most lucrative keywords on what people would be searching up for. So when I search it up, I want to make sure or I want to assess where my website is. Now, in this case, our website is number one. So that is perfect. That's amazing. We don't need to do any more optimizations other than keeping this ranking. And again, if we scroll down here, we can see our competitors and we can see again how it's sort of ranking each other. So Another tip is you want to search up your target keywords and then you want to see where you rank for. If you don't rank or if you're not uh, there, then you need to then go into those websites to see, like, for instance, let's say if I wasn't ranking, then I would what I would do is I would then go on to 
this website. So I've told ChatGPT to give me more information about the Toronto Dermatology Center just to see what information it's giving. And we can see here that they actually pulled a video from YouTube. So what does that mean for you? If you're a competitor, that means you should be creating videos as well on YouTube because again, ChatGPT is able to pull that information for you. And it's going to take that information and give it to its user because all of these search engines have one goal in mind, which is to satisfy and give the best possible result for the query that the searcher is searching up. So you want to make sure that you're following the same practices that they're doing. And again, take a look at some of their sources. Take a look at where people, where they're being mentioned from and see where you can sort of hijack them, where you can maybe go on that website, get a mention yourself, or let's say it's a business listing. Maybe you can also post your website or your business on that listing. And tip number five is to continue doing traditional SEO. The foundations of SEO is still the same and you need to continue doing that. But now you just need to think about, I'm not just only optimizing for Google, I'm also optimizing for ChatGPT. So when you're creating content, you need to go ahead and create the best possible content you can. And if you need help with that, I have a tool for you. It's called Word Rocket. It's my tool that I developed from the ground up. So I know it's really, really good and I can stand by it. To create really good content these days that stands out, you need to not only use AI, but you need to use AI intelligently. And that's exactly what Word Rocket allows you to do. For example, you can use the competitor and analyze your tool, right? So this is a premium feature. This is one of my test dummy accounts, but this feature allows you to upload up to five URLs at once. We pull the insights for each URL. We identify content gaps, create a prompt, and then create a custom article based upon your five competitor URLs. We also have a template which uses Perplexity AI to gather up-to-date information to make sure that you're getting up-to-date information within your articles, and it creates beautiful, in-depth, up-to-date factual articles. We also have the all-in-one SEO generator 2.0, which allows you to generate content, but also generate beautiful images embedded within the content. So if you want to try it, Word Rocket, just head over to app.wordrocket.ai. But again, number five is to continue doing traditional SEO because you need to create content on your website you need to be a thought leader within your industry in terms of content um, on your website, but that's just one part of a holistic strategy, which is also creating content on YouTube, creating content on LinkedIn, and also doing competitive research on ChatGPT and creating your business directory listings in as many places as you can so that the AI has places, much more places to gather your information from. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. This is very, very important. Probably one of my most important videos that I've created. So if you made it till this point, leave a comment, ask me a question and let's talk. I'll see you in the next video.